Hey, Catherine, I understand that you recently talked to one of Chico's drummer boys. Lou Mars is a Chico man in training for an unusual kind of marathon. Here's Lou describing his physically challenging goal. The Guinness Book of World Records has a record currently set at 120 hours for marathon drumming, meaning an individual drummer playing five days straight. Wow. And yeah, by some crazy <laughs> fantasy, I've decided that I have a shot at that, and therefore I be began a process to train and take it on. Wow, you're going to play drums for five days straight. Absolutely, and, and mm -hmm. it wasn't just on a whim. Um, just like the Dixon Drums National Contest I won last year, after uh, which was for a two-minute solo, I had a team that helped me do that, prepare. This is no different. Uh, in this case, though, I have a team of trainers, nutritionists, connected with um, NorCal Strength and Conditioning. And this is for a, a cause. One of the things that really helped me when I was young and how I got started in music was instruments being in the schools. And it's really disappointing to me to see that the instruments are vanishing from our schools. And worse yet, the training and the school programs have totally turned their head and not totally their fault. The funds are gone for these kids to learn how to play instruments. I was uh, one of those kids that was ADD before ADD was cool. I was given a drum set, and it saved my life. Wow. I played that drum set. And I think there's a lot of musicians out there that we can't hear right now. And so part of what I'm doing is that we've got a drum set from Dixon. We're raffling off the tickets at lumarsdrums.com. It's only a dollar, $2,300 drum set with hardware. At the event, we're going to give it away at the end. So it doesn't matter whether I break the record or not. It's not about sponsoring me by the hour. It's about if you want that drum kit, and guess what? It's going to be set up right next to mine. I'm going to play on it half the time. Okay. So that record's broken. You got yourself a collector's item of the world ah. record. All the funds are going to go to Little Kids Rock, which is a company that gives all that money into instruments and gives them to kids with lessons. Let's hear some more of Lou's drumming. Would you tell us about this next track we're going to hear, Lou? Sure. The, the Westlake drum uh, jam session, it's really neat. The, the guitarist on that, by the way, is playing bass in this is from Steve Vai's band. Uh, he did Steve Vai uh -huh. touring. Yeah, he's a big time guy. This is at Westlake Studios where Thriller was recorded. And uh -huh. we just jammed in front of producers. It's live. Producers from several different areas. Uh, matter of fact, one of them was the producer of Juno soundtrack recently out. They were sitting in front of me 10 feet in front of my drum set. And that video is on my website. But this is the track you could hear us jam and there's a little solo at the end. So don't, don't turn that dial. Stay in there till you hear the drum solo and then we'll be back. mentioned your website. Tell us how the internet is playing a part in this undertaking. Oh, the internet's huge. Uh, and again, it's lumarsdrums.com if you want to keep up with it. We're going to be uh, using Skype, which is a, a program where you can watch uh, people online through video and communicate. And we're going to be streaming, which means that uh, you can get on a laptop, a computer, and watch the event 24-7. So right. since I'm going to be playing pretty much 24-7, you can actually get into the event online, watch me play, and then get this. You can ask me questions while I'm playing. Oh, I'm going to have a headset wow. on. I'm going to be playing. You can say, and root me on. People in the U.K. out there, I know it's in the afternoon when you're watching, so <laughs> come in there. Keep me awake while it's nighttime here. One word that keeps coming up in your description of your playing and, and of others as well is showmanship. Tell me about showmanship and what that means to you and your 
you're playing. That could be a controversial thing because <laughs> in the drumming area, what I like about being a drummer is that it's one of the most free instruments there is. You can do and set up your drum set any way you like. However, there's another aspect. Just like all instruments, certain rules you're supposed to follow. The way you sit, your posture, the way you even hold the sticks. I break some of those rules, and as a result, I've been compared to other drummers who've done the same thing, like Gene Krupa, Keith Moon, and so on. Uh, those aren't bad guys to be compared to, no. by the way, so I'm okay with that. I'm the guy that is usually not the drummer you may always hear in the studio because of that. But I will be the guy that when you buy a ticket at a live show, that'll be on stage. And so, therefore, I get hired a lot to be the drummer on the live session. Let's go into some, some more music here. We're here with Lou Mars, the Chico drummer.